Hi everyone, it's Fitz with the Walk and Talk post. Kansas State beating Oklahoma. Isn't college football a beautiful thing? K-State loses to Tulane last week, hits the road to come to play at number six Oklahoma and wins. Meanwhile, Tulane goes home and loses to Southern Miss. Every game is self-contained. And maybe I should remind myself once in a while of that very statement that I say all the time. 41-34, Kansas State wins a game, and they didn't win the game at the end. They won it at the start, in the middle, and at the end, because Kansas State came out and did everything it needed to do to win this game. Chris Kleiman took the toss, won the toss, and took the ball. Doesn't do that all the time, and there was a reason why. He said he wanted to put Adrian Martinez on the field. He wanted that offense on the field to go do what they needed to do, and by God, they did it. They scored on their first two possessions, they got out to an early lead. They gave up that lead. The defense gave up some big pass plays. But every time Oklahoma seemed to be climbing back into this game, <clears throat> Kansas State found a way to make one more play, get one more thing done. And maybe the most definitive moment in Kansas State football in many, many years, probably going back to playing for Big 12 championships and those type of things, was Adrian Martinez, the guy that I openly wondered if he wasn't broken after the way he played last week against Tulane. On a third and, what was it, 14, 16? In the fourth quarter, <clears throat> was looking downfield at four vertical routes. They wanted to get the ball way downfield, kind of go for the jugular. It was covered, but it was covered too well because none of the OU defenders realized Adrian Martinez had tucked the ball, split some linebackers, turned it outside, and goes 55 yards down inside the five, about to the two, I guess, and didn't even go out of bounds. Had the wherewithal to slide and give himself up <clears throat> so after the first down marker was set, they could run the clock. Put Casey up by two touchdowns late in the fourth. OU had to work to get their touchdown, and then with 30-some seconds left, the onside kick was covered by Cade Warner, and the victory celebration was on for the Wildcats. And I will say this. I'm not sure I've ever been more proven wrong by a player in one week than what Adrian Martinez did in this game. He heard it. Deuce Vaughn basically called us out after the game, which I actually appreciate. Um, I, I openly wondered if Adrian hadn't lost his edge, that all of the abuse he took, both physical and mental at Nebraska, hadn't broken him. And he was so afraid to make mistakes, so afraid to get injured, that he couldn't just, as Chris Kleiman said, let it rip. That was his advice to his quarterback, just let it rip. And after the game last Saturday, he made it very clear that the team had complete faith in Adrian Martinez. And Adrian Martinez rewarded his coach, his teammates, K-State, and mostly himself by proving that he's just fine. He called this his biggest victory as a college football player. He played four years at Nebraska, and he was always said to be the guy that choked, that couldn't make the big play. My God, he made a huge play in this game against a really good Oklahoma team. I, I am just blown away by how good Adrian Martinez was in this contest after being so ho-hum in the first two games and then, honestly, bad in the third game. Deuce Vaughn was back to himself. He was a little under the weather last week. Didn't talk about it, but the cramping was because he was not feeling the best and probably on some medicine. <clears throat> But man, he was, he looked like Darren Sproles in this game. The OU defenders constantly thought they had him and he was gone. Big plays all across the board offensively. Malik Knowles gets into it with a crucial kickoff return that flipped the field after OU had scored. It was a team win, a great win. But maybe I should remind myself right now, as Texas Tech coming off their own big win, beating Texas comes to Manhattan next week, every game is self-contained. What happened last week really doesn't matter. You have to take care of business week in and week out. K-State absolutely took care of business here in Norman on Saturday night. It was a not just a big win for the program, but it sent a message about where K-State is and where Adrian Martinez is. He's where he belongs probably and where he can play his best football. In a supportive atmosphere, a, team, a bunch of teammates that not only have his back, but can help him. It's not all on his shoulders. And without it being on his shoulders, you know what he did? 
he took it on his shoulders and won the game. It was an amazing win. It was a great game, and it was fun to cover it, and I'm so glad that I lost money by betting on Oklahoma to cover. Eat my words, it was glorious. That's it for this walk and talk, and this case sitting in the Spanish language radio booth sitting, because I am tired, but big win. Go home, regroup, restart for another week. We'll have complete coverage at GoPowerCat.com. If you're not subscribing, you need to be subscribing to GPC. We got a deal on the site. Go click the green join button, get it done. Subscribe to this YouTube site. Subscribe to our podcast. We'll have a post-game podcast up sometime on Sunday when Brian Hanley and I can convene over the phone before we head back to Manhattan and start a whole new week of K-State football coverage. Cats beat the Sooners 41-34. It is the fourth time in the last six trips to Norman that K-State's won. Chris Kleiman seems to have the Sooners number. Now, if he can cash that in and start getting the number of the Baylor Bears and Oklahoma State Cowboys, K-State could have something special this season.